So we're on here to the next application, which is called Name Changer. Now, Name Changer is one of the be more beastly applications because Name Changer uh, helps if you like if you like to import photos a lot and like to send the photos, and you get kind of peeved off when they have the wacky names with them, like image number zero zero one six five seven eight dot jpeg. It's kind of useless, right? And then you have to go through every photo change the name, do all that good stuff. Name Changer helps you do that in groups, which is very, very cool. Let me go ahead and show you. So let me go back on Facebook and grab the images. Should have kind of had this prepared already, but whatever. So back here on Facebook. All right. Let me just grab some images here. All right. So grab that one off. Grab this one off. Grab that one off. And I'll take that one as well. All right, so I just got four quick photos, guys. And as you see, they have wacky names. 4831. Look at that. Just what is that? Like, how do I supposed to send that to somebody and tell them what that is? So you definitely want to change all of that, right? Very understandable. So basically, the easy way to do this, you can drag them onto your into the little, I guess you could say, editor thingamajig and name cha name changer, or you can just hit add, and you can bring up this little menu, and you can just add photos right then and there. Uh, you can remove, you can clear, and then you have options, rename, and image browser. I'll go over those three here in a second. When you drag them in, make sure you do check each name. That means if you check each name, that means you will uh, rename all the ones that are checked. So the ones that are not checked will not be renamed. Um, options, you want to go ahead and hide extensions because if you delete the .jpg out of the name, then it won't be a photo anymore. It'll corrupt the file. So make sure you do uh, hide that so you don't screw up anything. Uh, now I was trying to I was browsing on this name changer application, trying to figure out what to say, how to use it, and I was getting stomped. All right, and then I realized some of the easy, most easy way to do this: go to the little uh, drop down menu, hit sequence. All right, make sure you hit replace entire file name. Now, if you didn't hide extensions and you hit replace entire file name, the .jpg would be deleted. So make sure you hit and hide file extension. Uh, so I want to go ahead and it says number of digits. This is like the, the number. So like number 001, 002, and I can have the digits. I can have a three digit, a four digit, a five digit, a six digit, or just a one digit. So I'm just going to go with the one digit. Then I can have it where I want to start it at. So if I want to start it at zero, the first photo, the next one will be one. Or if I want the first photo to be number 45 and the next will be 46, 47, 48. I uh, hope that's pretty understandable to you guys. Next is just sequence name, so I'm just going to name this uh, Scooter. Whoa, Scooter, and I'll put a dash and I'll put a space, or no, I won't put a space. All right. So as you see, and I can have this before the digits or after the digits, just like that. So now that I have that done, just the name of all my photos in groups, now I can go to image browser. So this photo of me and the little uh, girl here, my uh, niece in China, I guess you could say. Um, she's going to be number 45. That's going to be the image. But I can rearrange it and have my Taekwondo picture in number 45 and have her be number 48. So I'm going to do that now. So as you see over on my desktop, if I was to do it uh, like it shows on the desktop, this would be number 45. This would be number 46. But I have that rearranged now. So I'm going to close out that window, hit rename one time. That's all I need. And boom. As you see, instantaneous change over here, guys. 46. Or 45, 46, 47, and 48, just like that. And the dot JPEG is still there, which is a good sign. I can close Name Changer. Now I can go ahead and drag these into iPhoto. One of the cons about this application is that when you're, uh, you want to go ahead and do the name changing before you import into iPhoto, because if you import into iPhoto, then you change the name, then it'll uh, erase all that data in iPhoto. So make sure you do that before you do uh, import into iPhoto. So right after you get off the camera, open up Name Changer, change all the names, and it's just like that, guys. Hope you've enjoyed these two applications. Hope I've helped a lot, and hope I've answered some of the questions. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. If you have anything else, just let me know. Peace.